Hey, welcome to my video. Um, in this video here, we're gonna we're gonna stay in the workshop one more time. And what I wanted to show you or, or kind of talk about is buildings. Um, the problem I've had, and I I'm, I don't think I'm the only one, but when I when I build these, obviously this is end scale. Um, sometimes you end up with a problem where the building isn't exactly flat on the on the, on your surface. So when you go mount it on your on your layout, you can end up with gaps underneath here in different places. You know, if you look at there's a there's a long gap here. So when you add building lights to these. Um, the light will bleed out from underneath. Um, so I, I was having that trouble and I started looking around to see what I can do to make that go away. And he, here's what I came up with and, and, and I like it and, and I'm going to continue using it. Maybe it'll work for somebody else. Um, I got something called from the craft store. I, I, I got it from Michael's, but I'm pretty sure Hobby Lobby has it, and I'm pretty, pretty much any, any decent hobby store would probably have it. It's called Plastolina Modeling Clay. And what that is, is it's clay. It comes in little bricks like this. You get four, four of these bricks in, in a pack. So four of these equal one pound of clay uh, for less than four bucks. Really good deal. So, what it is, it's, it's, it's modeling clay, like I said, plastilina modeling clay, uh, but it never hardens. It gets really firm, but it never hardens. So, here, here's what I do with it. I got a block here. I, 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 this matches kind of a concrete color. It's more universal, so I use more of this. So, I'll slice off a, a piece of it. All right, so we've got this piece. Now, when you first take it out of the pack, it is kind of firm. It's it's, it's actually pretty hard, um, but you got to work it around, work it around, and it'll warm up in your fingers, and it'll, it'll start getting more pliable, more soft. Um, and then all we're gonna do is we're gonna take this stuff, and we're gonna roll it into a string. table's a little bit dirty, but... Now this will work on any size buildings, HO scale, N scale, doesn't matter what it is. Um, if it's HO scale, then you, you gotta make these strings a little bit thicker, obviously, probably like at least the thickness of the wall. Maybe a little bit more. And then we're gonna take this string, and we'll work on this building here. This one actually sits pretty flat, so... I don't think I have too much trouble, but this is the process. You take this and you run it along the bottom of the building, like so. And it's not gonna stick perfectly right away. It'll, it'll, it'll move around, it'll come off, but just a little patience and you'll get it on there. But right on the top edge of the walls, So now I'm all the way around, I'm just gonna break off this little excess piece. So now once that's on there, and I wanna make sure it's sitting, you know, on top of the wall and it's not falling off or anything, then I'm just gonna take this like this, and I'm just gonna take it and set it. So if I'm gonna mount it here, I'll take it like this, and we'll just push it down into the clay, like that. Now, because this is a clay, it also holds the building in place. It's, a, it's an adhesive, it, it's not going anywhere. But it is removable. If you ever wanna pull up the building, you just pull it up. It's just not, if you bump something, 
it's not going anywhere. And then you just take your hobby knife and just cut off the extra around the whole building. Like that. Just like that. And then this clay will fill all the gaps underneath here. And it blocks all the light from coming out around the bottom of the building. It's perfect for places where, I know I have buildings where the ground isn't quite so level and it's a little higher, you know, you're a 16th off here or there because of the way, you know, the way I built my scenery. And this works absolutely beautifully to cover that up and it fills it in nice and it does not bleed light whatsoever. So that's, that's what I got for you this week. Um, I hope it's helpful for you. Uh, it works for me. If you'd like to see more stuff that I've done, uh, please visit my website. Uh, you can sign up for uh, email updates. So anytime I do an update on my website, you'll get an email for it. Um, I'm also on YouTube, Twitter. Uh, my website is, is mikestrains.wordpress.com. Uh, please come sign up, enjoy, uh, come visit me and, and see, what, see what's going on. I ch try to do new videos every week and if you find me on YouTube, uh, I try to get new videos up every week but sometimes I don't. Uh, but there's always something new on my website. So by all means come visit me. Again, Mike's tra mikestrains.wordpress.com. Hope to see you there and until next week, we'll see you later. Goodbye.